Willkommen! My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American living in Germany, and today we're going to be checking out Don't Come to Germany If You Don't Have This. Seems like a bold statement. Let's see what this is all about. Don't come to Germany. Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube Hello. channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? Alright, let's so see what this is all about. I'm going to be brutally honest and probably going to hurt some feelings, but I'm going to be talking about oh, snap. why you should not move to Germany. Okay, now, well, a little late for me. I got a message the other day, you guys. and Hope she doesn't push tell me anything to too crazy. Slide or transition into a little the late for me. And I've received a few videos or a few emails like this over the years. I've been doing YouTube for a while. Mm -hmm. And basically people upset with my representation of Germany on my channel because it's not realistic. And they've made really? me move to Germany based on my recommendation. And it hasn't turned out in their favor. Okay. And they failed. <laughs> and maybe they've oh, had to go man. home. And it what a responsibility to have on your shoulders. I maybe make it seem. Guys, if you watch my videos so and you want to move to Germany... Cool and don't you know, do it that because you, of my videos advice you know you tell do it because you want to do it your parents but you listen to her that's going to be me i'm going to be telling y'all things that you probably don't want to hear oh boy but you need to hear i'm a little nervous making germany your new home oh and boy so with that being said oh god it's so late for me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know smash that like section. button um what you think about this topic if mm -hmm, you have anything mm -hmm. else to add housing is very let's see competitive here and i think okay housing is very competitive so um about this topic that yeah I definitely sugar-coated it definitely a true home here in a major city in germany mm -hmm. is hard if you think that you're getting a home in a major city in germany is hard is what she said and yeah i would totally agree um, I would also say that it is very similar in America, in my experience. I mean, I lived in Philadelphia. I lived in Washington, D.C. I think that's just how the world across the globe is developing nowadays. It's just going to be harder to find places to live. It's going to be harder to find affordable places to live. It's just everything in the world is becoming more and more expensive and more and more competitive to get a good job, get a decent job, get a good apartment, everything. So I definitely, definitely agree with this. When we came to Germany, it was definitely difficult for us to find an apartment that we could afford to live in that wasn't really run down for us. And I documented some of that journey in some of my videos on my main channel that's linked down below. But we live outside of a very small city, nothing crazy, and it was still difficult for us to find housing that was both affordable, but also not like, like I said, too run down. That's just how it is nowadays, but I do agree with her. Let's continue. You're gonna come here and get a studio or one bedroom apartment within five days, and you have five days. other applicants before you, and you put in your application. I mean, dude, you're going to get it. As you a can't find any apartment in five days, even in America. That's like and if you're in the so hard to do. Where housing anywhere comes into play? Who happens to be today's video sponsor? Portable what is housing website, anywhere? You are able to rent rooms or apartments and stay for months. So let's say that months you're to come to Germany, but you have been unsuccessful Bang. in your apartment hunt with housing. That's pretty anywhere, cool. Have actually an advanced online booking which means that tenants can secure let's a see new home before paris berlin rottenburg so vienna you go onto the housing anywhere website you type in the city that you are looking for never been to any of those places in germany y'all you can enter in the date that you are planning this is pretty cool though and then you can enter in a few more filters of what exactly you are looking for i wish we knew about this when we got here you all right let's skip ahead a little bit and let's get into the next yep Point. Let's get Do into the next point. Germany if you are broke or poor, I think a lot of people confuse when I talk about hmm. affordability and. Let's pause it there. Do not come to Germany if you are broke or poor. Okay, and I'm assuming she means coming from America. That is what I would assume she means, since she is American. Let me. You know what? Let's listen to what she. Let's let her explain herself and then i will Cost give what i think X, y, Z, my honest they opinion use that with being cheap i didn't say that it's cheap i mean groceries are cheaper here than they are in the united states where i'm from so hmm. but <laughs> i didn't say okay. that it's cheap very quick side note uh 
my area of America, the groceries were cheaper than they are in my area of Germany right now. I don't know if that is due to inflation over the last year and a half that we've been here. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. It wasn't that big of a difference in terms of prices, but America was a little bit cheaper for groceries. At any rate, let's continue about don't be poor in Germany. To move here, I said that the living is affordable compared to my life in the United States, mm. which it is. <laughs> There's really? like, that's a fact for me. Really? It may not be a fact for you, but you also have to be honest with yourself and hmm. how much money you have. I came to Germany with, I don't remember what I've said here online before, y'all, but I'm pretty sure it was like $40, negative $40, something around there. Probably said 400 but I, it was closer to 40 you y'all. I had no money, and I think this was the dumbest decision that I could have ever made traveling to a foreign mm -hmm. country with no money in the bank if it is very expensive for you to move mm -hmm. in your small circle to another town or even in your same city even in your same country mm -hmm. you think wow that's very expensive to yeah, move it is, to yeah. this new city if that's a factor for you or if that's something in the back of your mind you need to reevaluate if moving across an ocean, across a continent, across multiple countries mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. for you or is something that you can afford. The next point is probably... Okay, let's pause it there. That's the end of the section on being poor and coming to Germany. So here's my thoughts. Let me see. Um, yeah, coming to Germany with $40 in your bank account, that would definitely be tough. That would be tough to do, of course. I mean, how do you, what do you do when you get here? Do you just live, are you just living on the street? Do you find a homeless shelter? Of course, doing any traveling when you have $40 to your entire name is going to be pretty difficult. And I agree, it would be difficult to even move across your city that you lived in in America with only $40. Now, I don't think she's talking about like refugees. So I'm going to exclude refugees and, you know, people that move to Germany out of distress and out of need. I'm going to exclude that whole anybody in that kind of situation. So that being said, in Germany, I think that there are better social programs in Germany and better working conditions for the average everyday blue collar worker in Germany with not so much education, not so much expertise in things. There's more opportunities to earn an okay living. Not good, but enough to like put food on the table at least. You may never be able to afford to buy a house in Germany because the housing market in Germany is actually probably more expensive overall than in America. There's a better work-life balance in Germany. There's more care for the average laborer in Germany. There's a higher minimum wage in Germany. There's universal health care and whatnot. There's more paid time off. There's more maternity leave and maternity care and options in Germany. There's more like sick leave type of things. I'm not saying Germany is perfect and I'm not saying that it's easy to live in Germany and work in Germany and assimilate into German culture and all that stuff. You can just come here with a hope and a dream and $40 in your bank account and become a rich person with a giant house and nice cars. It's a hard place to live and work just like anywhere you have to work hard but i believe in germany they take care of the bottom few percentages of their society of their workforce of their income brackets i guess you could say a lot more than they do in america so if you are a poor person and you can find a way to make it to germany and to find housing or something in germany i think that you can get a manual labor job in germany and be better off here in the long run because of all these other benefits that are mandatory in Germany. They're not benefits, they're called human rights. There's a lot more human rights when it comes to working here in Germany than there are in America for these low income people and stuff like that, myself included. I make minimum wage in Germany, but I still have health care and paid time off and maternity leave and like this and this and this and this and this and so on and so forth. So in my opinion, poor people in Germany are actually way more taken care of than they are in America. Let's continue. Probably the most brutally honest point that there is, and it will humble a lot of people. It humbled me. Let's see. But if you don't have any experience and you don't have any skills, 
you probably don't need to come to Germany. Germany is a land of skills, certification, licenses, etc., etc. I'm going to keep letting her finish her points and then I'll and I'll speak to this because I have a lot of experience with this too. Let, so let's see what she says. And if you don't have any of those things, even if you do have those things, if they're not accepted in Germany, you will be slayed, slashed, demolished, chewed up, spit out at the bottom of the totem pole. You have to ask yourself, if it's not working in your country for you, do you really think it's gonna work for you in a foreign country where the language is different, where the culture is different, where society is different, where the, um, economic structure is different. Do you think it's going to work for you then? If it's not working here, the, it, why would it work over there? Especially if you don't have any skills or experience. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. some people do, and it's just not accepted in Germany. This was my issue, you guys. Mm -hmm. And I had to um, do a lot of odd jobs, a, little, a lot of things that I won't say were beneath me, but I knew that I could do more with the qualification and education that I had in the United States, but I wasn't allowed to do that in Germany because it's okay. not the same system. And so the best advice that I could give you is learning to market yourself and your skills, getting the certification and the education that is required to do your job in mm -hmm. Germany mm -hmm. yeah. um, and having the paperwork and having the letters and having Germans all love of this, um, paperwork. paperwork, love it. Basically bureaucracy uh, with you. So nobody yep. in Germany is able to tell yep. you no, because if they tell you no, and you're not able to combat it with actual factual evidence and proof, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to progress. But if you're just coming here with nothing, okay. it's not yeah. something that I recommend. I know it seems fun. I know it seems like woohoo, I'm in Europe, I'm gonna be Emily in Paris, I'm gonna be Lizzie McGuire, <laughs> when in Rome, all of those things, but mm -hmm, it's not yeah. like that, y'all. I promise you. Well, it's of course, not. yeah. Sometimes in my head I think that it is, but I'm knocked down harshly to reality yeah. when it is not. So hello from editing chicken here, you guys. Well okay. editing let's pause it here. Um nice. My shirt matches the background. So yeah. Germany is all about bureaucracy, all about paperwork, all about certifications, all about stamps of approval, all about all that kind of stuff to the 10th degree, to the 100th degree. Everything in Germany requires a note or a license or a class or a permission slip from your mom or something. So that's just, that is what it is. That being said, I came to Germany much like what it sounds like she did with a lot of education from America and a lot of experience from America in specific areas. And when I got to Germany, it was and it still has been hard for me to apply those things while in Germany. Most of the reason for me is because I'm living in the deep south of southern Germany. There's not a lot of big cities where I live and usually in the big cities is where the more English speaking jobs are or the half English half German speaking jobs are. So in my area it's basically all 100% just German speaking jobs. So depending on where you live in Germany, that can be a thing where you just can't find a job unless you actually know German. And not just know German, but you are fluent in German. Not only that, but you might need to be certified to a certain degree in the German language. So I will say if you have very in-demand high-end skills and experience, then Germany will absolutely welcome you with open arms and you can definitely find jobs in Germany. They're always looking for skilled workers in Germany. It just comes down to the language barrier and finding a place for you where they accept you for probably not having great German at least to start and then maybe over the years of working there you develop your German. It's easier said than done, but what she is saying is true. I've had this experience. I came with a a college degree from America from a decent university into working at a tech company for a number of years and then working for the government for a couple of years to Germany and I had to essentially start over. I applied to 70 or 80 jobs when I got to Germany, got no's from every single one, and then I had to take an entry-level manual labor minimum wage job here in Germany just so I could get my work visa so I could stay in Germany. And I've been with this company ever since for the past year or so. And I think I had the same mentality as 
her. I never had a mentality of like, I'm beneath this work or anything like that. I don't mind doing the job that I have now, but I can definitely do a hell of a lot more. So while that is frustrating, the job that I have now in Germany takes care of me a lot more than if I had that same exact job in America. So if you did come to Germany and you had to start over like me because they don't accept your certifications or they don't accept your experience or whatever the case may be, you don't speak German, you can start at an entry level basic manual labor job like me. You won't make a ton of money, but you'll have health care, like I said, and you'll have all this time off and you have a nice work-life balance regardless of having to start over. It's still not all rainbow and sunshines. It's still a lot of hard work, but for me, it just kind of is what it is. I only have myself to blame for not learning German. I can't blame a company for not hiring me. That's a German company based in Germany with all German workers, and then they hire one American, and then they all have to switch to English? Of course not. Even Even though I had to start over when I came to Germany, I still wouldn't change anything. So, but that's just me. Make your own opinion. Let's continue. What's up with this chicken? In this video, I totally realized that I missed out on something that I wanted to bring up with this point. And it is the simple okay. fact that even though you might find jobs that are um, unconventional or not meeting your expectations or not that's me into your skill set or your qualification let's see what she says level that does not necessarily mean that it's a bad job huh. or that it won't well, work for you or i that agree it with that definitely 100 percent lessons because there are a lot of unconventional jobs that i worked in germany and jobs that maybe some people would say that were beneath my qualification or skill set and i learned so much about germany the german language um yeah definitely i mean i already talked about it but i am not above doing a manual labor job that's the jobs that i did my whole life until i got my college education i would still rather have an office job where i'm figuring out complex problems with my mind rather than just physically exhausting myself all day but i really did learn a lot from this job that i have now about about working with people from all over the world and how to do that effectively and how to work in teams and how to communicate with people on a whole different level because none of us speak the same languages we're from all over the world and none of us barely speak any German let alone it's, you know it's just crazy so I learned so many different things from this job already and you can't come to Germany and expect to not be challenged and when you grow the most as a human is when you are going through difficult times and when you're challenged and I learned a lot about myself and a lot about all kinds of different stuff from doing this move and doing all kinds of stuff in Germany here. So 100% agree with her on this one. Myself, um, I made amazing friends and I have core memories of my life that I would never want to replace or I'd never want to um, yep. switch with being able to work in an industry that I am familiar with or that I have a degree and, 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 and. And so just because it's different just because it's not the path you think you might want yeah, or that yeah. you've planned on taking does not necessarily mean that it can't offer you something that's more important or more valuable than money. That's it. So let's get back into the video. Try it the out. The next thing is that if you are not able to adapt, you should mm -hmm. not come to Germany. Oh, well, because yeah, of, of course. People, they come to Germany. I don't even have to listen to the points on this, but yeah, definitely. Very different or it's hard to assimilate to or it's hard to accommodate. It's hard mm -hmm. to like fit into the German mold. And for a lot of people that has a... So Germany has been extremely welcoming to me. I've made some amazing friends and I have a whole new side of my family, like Issa's family that I've met that are just, they're my family and they are amazing. And, you know, I have all these great experiences with all these different people that I work with and all this different stuff. So Germany is very welcoming, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you will just fit in. There's a difference between people welcoming you and feeling like you fit in. And this is something that I still struggle with today. My friends and family here, they do all that they can. They bend over backwards to make me feel comfortable and included and welcome here. And they do. I do feel well. I feel more than welcome here. But that doesn't mean that I feel like I fit in. 
because the culture, the language, the experiences, the everything just is so different for different people. So it just, it is what it is. So if you can't adapt and you can't assimilate and you can't get used to these different ways that people do things from other parts of the world, you're going to have a rough time for sure. Let's continue. Huge, like negative implications, like, mul like multiple negative implications mm -hmm. on their health, on their well-being. And they realize that they're in a very dark place when they come to Germany because they aren't able to like make it work. And the thing is, you need to be able to adapt. Yeah. You need to change for the culture. The culture Improvise, should not change adapt, for you. Overcome. You should not want the culture to change for you because nine times out of ten, that's why you go to a foreign country is to experience that culture. Absolutely. And so what... <laughs> Why do you want it to change for you? That shouldn't happen. And if you are in such a dark place and you're not like progressing and you're not mm -hmm. happy and you're not positive and you're not getting anywhere, I always tell people it's not bad to leave. It's okay mm -hmm. to leave. It's okay to go back home. I know a lot of people say it's my last chance or it's my big move and I don't want to seem like a failure. So what? It's your life. And there are so many, like I say, ebbs and flows and highs yeah. and lows that you will experience. But I think for a lot of people, they underestimate the struggle of learning to assimilate into a culture because a lot of times, definitely, campus, definitely, all the time, not to say that you will lose yourself, but you will have to make adjustments to who you are as an Absolutely. individual and you will most likely change. If you, there really is such a huge difference. If you really love your personality. And, um, and I, I made a video on this on my main channel. I'll link it down below. But there is such a huge difference between coming to Germany as a tourist and what all of that entails and the experiences and the expectations and all of that and coming to Germany to live and to relocate and to start a life here and to essentially become a German. They are two completely different things, obviously, but they are just so astronomically different. It's so much more challenging and difficult to come here and start a life here compared to Oh, I'm coming here for even a few months and I'm going to live here for a few months and experience what Germany has to offer. And that's great. And everything is amazing. And you're just here and then you go home and it's fine. But coming here and being like, this is this is my home. This is where I live. This is where I work. This is where my family is. This is my life. That is very difficult to do, and I have loved the challenge of figuring all this stuff out and trying to just take it one step at a time to just do what I have to do to become a part of this country and to make the best of it, but it's hard work and it's very difficult, so it's just two completely different things. I can't agree more with this. And how you are in your home country or wherever you're coming from, you need to really sit and think to yourself, is it worth it for me to go to this new country because I know that I'm going to change? I think I've made positive changes. I've made some bad changes as well, but generally speaking, I've made positive changes that I would have never made if I had not come to Germany. Yeah. But I am a very different person that could be with age as well, throw that factor in there as well, than I was before I came here. And it's not to say that I'm better or worse, yeah. I'm just totally different. And so those were all the points, but I do want to do a little fast round of things that I've maybe talked about <coughs> over and over on my channel, but they fit perfectly right, in this see. video. The first one is going to be that you should learn the language if you feel that German is not the language for you or that you of course. do not want to learn, have to learn German, German of language. course. Don't come to Germany. If you of think course. it's going to be free health I don't even have to comment on that. Vacation days all the all the time, don't come to Germany. If you're not able no, it's not free insurance. It's not free vacation days. Like you have to get a job and you have to work hard. Yeah. You know, it's not a place that you can just move to and then everything is free and you don't have to work and you don't have to do anything and every and life is beautiful and everything is provided for you. Of course, it's not a fairy tale land. You still have to work hard. But if you work hard, you have a lot more basic benefits or basic human rights compared to America. So yeah, of course. Don't come to Germany if you don't want to work just as hard as you do in America. It's just what it is. Able to deal with being alone for extended periods of time, don't come to Germany. If you can't be alone for extended periods of time, don't come to Germany. 100% yes. 
I have a lot of friends in Germany now. I have a lot of family in Germany now on ISA side. Plus, I have ISA. I definitely would not have been able to physically do this without ISA. But even though I have all these friends and all this family here, I still feel alone a lot because of, like I said, it's just there's so many cultural and language barriers. All of my friends here speak English because they're all German and they all learn English growing up in school. So they still don't have that language barrier, but it's just different. Even though they do every single thing that they possibly can, like I said, bending over backwards to make me feel welcome, and I do feel welcomed, that doesn't mean that you won't necessarily also feel alone at times. That's just what it is. Germany, if you're not okay with directness and you get very, how do you say, sensitive when people are direct to you, it can come off as being an asshole, I know. I've been there, um, but if you're very sensitive to those things, don't come to Germany. If you hate the winter, yep. don't come to Germany. If you Ooh, don't yeah. understand the con Bro, the winter in Germany was about 17 months long this year, I swear to God. Like, it was insane. Concept of taxes, and it's not just money coming out of your paycheck, but for the greater good of society, do not come to Germany. <laughs> oh, finally, yeah, they, they have a lot more like, um, yeah, they have a lot more like weird little taxes and stuff here in Germany, but I don't fully understand it, so I'm not going to speak on it, but they have like more stuff in Germany going on, but yeah, it, but it's not so bad. Do not have an open mind don't come to germany but i feel like those are very obvious and like i said i didn't want to go too much into detail about those points but other than that you guys that was the end of this video like i said wow. thank you to housing anywhere very cool um yeah i mean i would agree with all of her statements i would agree with all of them the only one that i don't 100 percent agree on is the don't move to Germany if you're poor. And for me to boil it all down, it would just be, if you're a poor person in Germany, I think that they take care of you more than they do in America. I think that they take care of their average people more than they do in America. But the actual process of getting to Germany and getting your foot in the door and getting a foothold in Germany. Of course, it takes money. If you come here and you are dirt poor, not talking about refugees and stuff, but just an average American who doesn't have that much money, it's going to be hard to come here and get the ball rolling. But once you can get established, I think that Germany takes care of their poor people and their average people and everything in between that a lot more than they do in America. So once you can get that foothold going, then I think you're off to the races and then you can have a better work-life balance and all that kind of stuff here in Germany. So I think being poor in Germany is better than being poor in America. I just think that being poor in America and coming to Germany and that process is expensive and there's not a whole lot that you can do about that. Oh man, that was an intense video. Uh, yeah, wow. I think that a lot of these points really resonated with me and so I was kind of talking a lot about them, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.